So, uh, a couple of classes ago, I demonstrated these M140, M142, and M143 projects, and that was those are all extra credit, where you set up your own Android Studio and your emulated Android phone, and then you collect data from it. And I made those extra credit because that's stuff that's not directly related to forensics. But M144 is the one that's required where you analyze data, the same as you've done for other phones. So that's the one I'm going to demonstrate now, which is really very simple. You've already done it for an iPhone, and Android is very much the same thing. The only thing that's kind of a weird gotcha is um, when you download this file, it's a tar.gz. Now, all I did was I did the same thing that we did a couple weeks ago in M140, M142, and M143, where I took an Android phone, put some data on it by browsing, sending it some messages and stuff, and then collected the contents of the data folder, slash data folder, which has all the personal data on an Android phone. So then I zipped it up to make it smaller and put it on the server. It's less than one gigabyte on the server. But one thing that surprised me is when you download it in a browser, your browser will automatically unzip it. This thing is zipped twice. First with GZ and then with t tape archive. And the GZ is detected by your browser in verse. So when you download it, it turns into a 1.6 gigabyte file, which is, anyway, so when I made it, I had to unzip it twice if you had the original file, but you only have to unzip it once if you have that one. So I've got my Windows machine here. All right. And so on my Windows machine, I downloaded that file and here it is. And as you can see, it's 1.6 gigabytes because the browser unzipped it. Although when the browser unzips it, it doesn't change the name. Logically, it ought to take away the GZ. This is really just a tar. But anyway, you can unzip it again with 7-zip to get back to the original file. If you follow my project, then you verify the hash value before you continue. And here's the hash value that you'll find ending in E4 and MD5. I checked that, and it was right. Then you just unzip it with 7-zip, and that will give you the original data folder which is um, going to be in this thing. Let's see if I can. Uh, I still haven't had any way to stop Windows 7 from grouping everything by date, which is very annoying. If, any, if I ever learn how to turn this off and get back to the old one, I'll be a lot happier. Um, so there should be a data folder. There it is. There's the data folder. So inside there is all the data from this Android system. And so... You unzip it so you have the data folder, and then you put it in autopsy. So let me start up autopsy. And this is just the same process we've done before. You launch autopsy, you make a case. Uh, there's only the only part that varies is where you choose the analyzer modules. So it'll take a minute or two to get there. The autopsy makes everything really easy. So new case, and I'll just call it uh, M144 demo. Next, and finish. I don't need any of this stuff. And then it takes about a minute preparing the empty framework to store the data in. I remember this before, one of them fails on my machine, which might be because I'm using Windows on ARM. But whatever it is, we don't seem to need it. It seems to be okay without it. Taking a bit longer than I remember. I wonder if my hard drive's getting full. I think I'll check. Um, nope, it's not full. Okay, good. It's 
one thing about this ARM 64 version of Windows, I cannot resize the hard drive. I'm stuck with 64 gigs. All right, looks like it's uh, finished creating the case and now it should let me add data. Okay, so I don't care about the name, I'll take the default. And now I get to add data, and it's logical files, which is just copies of folders, uh, not a hard drive image or anything. It's just logical files is what it is. And now I just need to take it to that data folder, which was in my downloads. Um, downloads, data. I just select, and next. And here's where you choose the analyzer. Now, I... Um, found this thing called Android Analyzer A Leap and used that and wrote the project with that. And then just when I was duplicating it today, I saw there's another thing called Android Analyzer, which I didn't know about. So I tried to read up on these. The Android Analyzer is an older module that finds the MySQL databases and analyzes them in the image. And that's where you have stuff like um, instant messages and such. And I never tried it. I don't really know what it does. I'm using this one called A Leap, which is some kind of quick attempt to find just the easy things quickly. Uh, so probably would be better to check them both and go through them both, but for this project, I just used the Android A Leap because I didn't know about the other one, so that's the only one you need to check. If you check extra things beyond that, it won't hurt anything. It'll just be slower. And uh, this will find information, uh, quite a lot of information about what was on that phone. And I guess if you run the other one too, you'll find even more, although I'm not really quite sure what it would find. All right, and as you see, it's finished, but you see in the corner, it's still running the Android Analyzer at 0%. And, uh, but it won't take long. And I'm going to get my... Uh, copy the instructions up. And what I'm looking for is data artifacts and there you have things like call logs and installed programs so it might it looks like it hasn't appeared yet it's still working on it it's now up to zero percent 29 percent okay it's moving it'll fill in this data artifacts thing when it finds stuff there it is okay so now you've got call logs you can see what phone calls have been made here so they'll like two phone calls to numbers then communications accounts is probably something like email uh, looks like there's something in there. Um, then there's installed programs, 1,149 of them, which is kind of crazy. You can see all the list of the programs that are installed and when they were installed. Things like, what, Android, YouTube, and uh, so on. Qt, something, uh, a command line tool we installed. Then you got SMS messages. See a couple of them. And web accounts. And you have web searches, and you see this all the time if you read uh, news stories about crimes. They, web searches always come up in court. Like uh, recently I heard about a woman that was convicted of killing her husband because they found her searching how to poison my husband like a couple weeks before. Yeah, yeah. So this is like very, you go see what they've been searching on the web, and that often ends up in court. So anyway, that's all there is to it. And then there's just a couple flags to find. So if you look at the... Uh, there, you got to find the most recently installed app and the website viewed at a particular time. So those are the flags. So that's all I wanted to show you. Um, that's how you do that one. Let me turn off the recording.